normal job is planning for reviews and how kitchens operate and making sure everything's running smoothly in a kitchen. Now, um, our normal is, we, we call it building the plane while we're flying it um, because it changes on a daily basis. And our folks have to be very flexible. Um, when the schools closed, we went from serving hot meals in school to in 24 hours notice opening emergency feeding shelters. We never missed a meal, we never missed a day. And we have fed every single meal that we could possibly feed, which includes breakfast, lunch, supper, and snack seven days a week since schools closed. We have become so flexible in schools were starting to come back into session, and now we're back on virtual. So my folks have truly become you know, I call and say, okay, we're back on virtual, so you're curbside today. When schools start to come back into session, now they're serving hot meals and curbside at the same time. The community has been absolutely fabulous. They, they, they are so appreciative. Some people have no way to get to locations to get food. I heard a statistic the other day and it made me makes me cringe. Right now, one in four children is food insecure in this country because of the pandemic. That is such a scary number to me. That is absolutely terrifying. If you think about one in four children in this county could be worried about where the next meal's coming from. And if we can make sure that they have food by getting food into the community so that the child just has to walk to the school bus with their local that's all I can ask for. I work with about 380 staff right now, and they are some of the best people I've ever worked with. This team is truly a team. They care about the community. When, when all of this started, they didn't go running. They signed up to work. They signed up to work during holidays. They signed up to work evenings to make sure everybody got fed. You can't ask for more than that. We're actually the largest restaurant in Chesterfield County. We are a self-operated business. We get no local funding. We are a federally funded operation. So we serve a meal and we get a federal reimbursement for that meal. So um, the more meals we serve, the stronger our program becomes. We have served since the schools closed in March about 2.7 million meals, just under 2.7 currently. Um, we work with the food bank on a regular basis. We touch base to make sure um, they feed the families, we feed the children. So we work together very well to make sure the community is taken care of. My staff are just, I can't say enough good about them. They truly care. Um, They've gone so far above and beyond to make sure the kids get fed. They're standing outside <laughs> in the pouring rain. They're standing outside in the freezing cold, making sure kids get fed. That's out of the goodness of their heart. They didn't bargain for this. <laughs> so I, they're amazing. I can't say enough good things about them. <laughs>